Jacksonville State quarterback Kyle West, our guest on Gamecock Chatter. Uh, so far, so good, you guys. 3-0, you got to be happy with the way these things are going at this point. Yeah, you know, um, last uh, two out of three weeks, you know, they're really nail biters. But, um, you know, pulled it out. That's really all that matters, you know. No matter how bad we play, no matter how good we play, you know. We can win by one, we can win by 40, and really all that matters is the W at the end of the day. You're from St. Augustine, Florida. Tell us how you ended up at Jacksonville State. Um, well, Marquise, well, um, our offense coordinator in high school was really, his son played quarterback here. And um, Matt Harden, mm -hmm. and he, uh, um, Coach Letson called Marquise, and he saw me on his highlight tape, and he was like, "Hey, you know, why don't we just try to see what this kid can do at quarterback?" You know, and he just brought me in, and really, I guess I'm here through Marquise. Really, did you have any offers from anybody else or no, anything else going no, on? I had walk-on offer to like FAU, FIU, UCF, and uh, um, I, I really just kind of wanted to get away from home, you know, enjoy something new. Yeah. So I chose so, Alabama. <laughs> so far, so good. Right? Yeah, right, sir. All right, you got some action against Jacksonville University, and then you got, uh, I guess, uh, what we could say in a more pressure situation in the game last right. week against North Alabama. Right. Everything's been good for you individually so far, too, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been you know it's been really fun. Um, you know, getting to be able to play, especially in front of the home crowd, mm -hmm. you know, for the first time is, you know, really one unique situation, especially for you know I've been sitting back for about two two and a half years now. So it's been it's been real fun getting out there and playing really my first meaningful reps. Coach Clark and Coach Cross have, have said repeatedly in a two minute drill in practice you're the best guy. It seems like what uh, what's the difference? I mean, what makes the, the two minute drill so special for you? Um, you know, I just uh, which is part of my game is just you know just staying calm, not um, cracking under pressure, and just stay calm, cool, and collected. But, um, you know, like, like you said, uh, the receivers call me Mr. Two-Minute now. So, you know, it's just, you know, I just try to go and make a play, you know, just for the team. You know, just take what they give you and, you know, really just go in and play well. You came in, walked on, red-shirted, didn't play. Then last year, your first year of eligibility there after playing in high school, how tough was it to sit out that first year, especially as a red-shirt and, and, and not have any action? Yeah, it was certainly different, you know. I was a three-year starter in high school. But, you know, I was never really – I've never really seen, you know, mop up duty or you know, we usually when I'm when it's the third quarter I'm usually out of the game when I was in high school instead of going into the game. But um it was just really unique and different, you know, and I didn't really didn't really mind it, you know. I've I've had a great relationship with all the quarterbacks I've been through here. Cody, Quez, um, Thomas Dara, you know, Steve Steve is here now, all the quarterbacks here now, you know, we just and I think that's what's made it better. It's because we all kinda are for each other. I was teasing Coach Clark with all the social media out there today. I mean, the world's best kept mm -hmm. secret the other night was Max Shortell being heard and not being in there. Yeah. Did you you knew going in you might get a chance, right? Yes, sir. You know, I just knew um, Coach Coach Cross did a great job preparing me um, just for any situation. You know, whether that was you know Eli goes down, I had to go in because Max wasn't 100%. Um, mm -hmm. You know, but uh, I just prepare like I'm the everyday starter, and you know when I get my opportunity, that's what I'm gonna take advantage of it. You mentioned Marquise Merrill took a pretty good shot the other night. Were you a little worried when he went down? Yeah, you know, the first thing I did, I dropped my knee and prayed, you know. Um, but I knew he's, he's a tough kid. You know, it's kind of one of those things that you were just shocked at first, and you're just like, whoa. Like, I've never I've never personally seen a hit like that live in a real game. But, you know, I just prayed for the kid, especially since it was Marquise. It was a little personal, you know. I mean, I would have uh, done the same thing for anyone else, you know. But it was just a little more personal with Marquise. One last thing, playing at the Georgia Dome, uh, Georgia Dome this week, NFL uh, facility. I guess you guys will be excited about that. Yeah, that's exciting. You know, I've never had to play. You know, um, we reached the state finals my freshman year, but we played in Orlando, which that was not an NFL stadium. So I've never been in an NFL stadium. Been to a couple of Jaguar games, but <laughs> you know, I've never played actually in a, in a game. All right, man. Yeah. Continue success. Thank you.